Did you know that currently we have over 7.9 billion people in the world? And out of this 7.9 billion people, 75% of them would rather die than speak. Wow. Glossophobia is real. That is the fear of public speaking. And it is terrible because it makes many people not to achieve their dreams in life. There are valid reasons why people are scared of public speaking. And these reasons include the fear of being judged. Do you know that sometimes you want to air your opinion about some things, but because you are in front of so many eyes, you will just keep quiet. However, when you do that in your closet, you feel very comfortable, you talk to everyone about it, your family members, your friends, but you dare not do that in front of a large audience. Secondly, past failures. It could be your personal failure or that of someone that is very dear to you. Can you imagine yourself being embarrassed for the first time and being asked to go there again? Do you think it's easy for you to climb that stage and go and do the same thing? No! You will say, no, not me. It's not meant for you. It's a valid reason, right? How about you being asked to speak along with those people you call your mentors or the experts in your industry do you think you can stand on that stage and speak confidently you'll be too scared because you will feel that you will feel so inadequate comparing yourself with others that is what you should not do but it's a very valid reason now consider this being asked to speak in an unfamiliar terrain is like being invited to fight war in a place where you do not know the terrain that's like being blindfolded and you are asked to shoot definitely you might just be shooting your, your partner or shooting people that is so scary right now this one is going to freak you out that thought in your mind about oh my grammar my tenses am i too fast am i too slow do I sound right? Is it okay? All those are valid points that can scare you from even starting to speak at all. All this and many more are valid reasons why you may be scared of speaking in front of people. But you know what? All those tips you have researched about, how to prepare before you speak, how to practice your speech, how to structure your speech. Most times when you are even asked to speak about yourself in front of people, you freeze, true or false. Now in all of these, what is the way out? I'll share with you. The most important thing you need to know is that your eyes send a message to your brain that there are people in front of you, strangers, people you are not comfortable with. But can you turn that thought, that message from your brain to, they are not just strangers, they are individual people who I can sit at a dinner table with and speak to them and have a conversation with them. It's just that this individual people have just converted at a particular place to listen to me, to say what I would have said to them individually. Don't get scared because of the numbers. They are just one person per time. Talk to them, the group of people, as if it is one person you're talking to at a time. Look at one person and drop a point. Go to the other person and drop another point. And before you know it, you'll be having a conversation with friends. And you'll be more relaxed. That is the most important thing I would love you to take away today. So today, note that you can speak to 10 people, 100 people, a million people, if you could just imagine that everyone there is your friend. And you're speaking to them as if you're talking to just one person at that time. Then you feel more relaxed. You need to speak to them as if you're speaking to your friend. So it's a wrap. But I would love to hear from you because that is what effective communication is all about. I love your feedback. What is that fear that makes you not speak out when you need to? Please drop a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear your fear and I would love to give you some tips on how you can overcome your fear. 
till I meet with you next time ensure you like this video and also hit the notification bell so you get to know when I'll be sharing my next video bye for now